Oh, it started recording before I even pressed record. I got a new phone two months ago and I'm still getting used to it. So when I do that, apparently that, that means uh, it's recording. Anyways. <laughs> I got mail and I'm going to show you exactly what I got in the post today. Most of these items are things that I have ordered because I needed but there are a couple of extra supplies is thrown in. Now this, oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. Um, this is one of three dresses I ordered because I'm going to a ball um, basically boss bitches and I needed a dress to wear I'm gonna have to try this on but basically I need something that's gonna be like floor length and I'm worried that this is just a bit too short maybe I will try all of them on for a video and then you can tell me which one is best a friend sent me Charlotte Tilbury magic cream it came with a little card but I can't show you that because uh, reasons and I might dox myself but it is just a little care package because I have been struggling, which you've probably seen on my videos recently. I won't go into that right now because it's so depressing. But what's next? I have no idea what this is. Basically, also, I've been away for like ages because I went to Vegas to visit my sister and so I came back to a ton of stuff and I don't know what I ordered back when I had money one day it's all gone now I'm gonna hate myself later because the floor is gonna be covered in just parcel stuff oh why is it so hard to open Yes, also the amount of packaging is just unnecessary, but okay. I mean, I guess because it's ceramic bowls, they need to be wrapped up well, but this is what I got for Paul, the girl cat, and also Owly because Owly steals from Paul's food now. They're like whisker friendly, they're slanted. They love having water out of the ceramic bowls. Steal in ceramic bowls, make sure that your cat is not drinking out of plastic bowls because they hate it just in case anyone didn't know that yet that was something I learned a fair few years ago anyway I got two of these there's no particular order here <laughs> all right this was absolutely necessary as were all my purchases it's a <laughs> is it a yeah one litre of ranch dressing it's vegan friendly as well so I wonder what that's like Yes, it's sealed. I will try that later. I can't wait to try it. When we went away, every time we go to America, the ranch dressing. They ask you if you want ranch or blue cheese. Ranch every time, baby. I have a bit of an obsession, but... <laughs> uh, I do know that I ordered a load of makeup. I accidentally double ordered so many things because... I forgot that I ordered makeup before I went away. As I was about to come home, I realised that I was running out of makeup. And so, anyway, it's always good to have supplies. I usually like to have a backup. So now I've just got two backups. This is eyelash glue. It's the only duo eyelash glue that I buy because it's the strongest eyelash glue I've ever had. I can sleep in these and they will still be going tomorrow night. Uh, not that I've ever done that. Anyway, Sills, Sational, Maybelline Mascara, um, I need it. I swear by this eyeliner, it's only collection fast stroke. Everything here is like under £5 on Amazon usually, unless it's not. <laughs> but most of my makeup is like super cheap. 
because it all works just as well as the more expensive brands I found. I've tried loads of expensive brands. In fact, this is the best concealer I've ever used and it's collection and it is like, let me check. It is currently £4.47. Sometimes you can get like buy two for £8 or whatever. Basically, it's a great deal. And yes, I can, I can give you the prices if you want. If there's any makeup girlies on here. I really wish I could get some deals with makeup brands because I do like trying things. And I feel like my makeup is quite good, although it has been a really long day and I haven't de-shined. <laughs> but this is like 14 hours, so we're, we're quite late at night here. In fact, let me go do that real quick. I just had to. Um, <laughs> probably really unnecessary, seeing as I'm going to go to bed soon. I really like the look of this, these but I'm not sure if they will look good on or if they're too big. They are ear cuffs. The review said that they can be easily broken, so like, please don't be classic me and like break them immediately. Like that. That I, I wanted to wear them with my ball gown, whichever that will be. Uh, I've ordered three ball gowns. I don't know which side. I also really need to sort my hair out, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to in time. Which is also why I got this, but I feel like this is going to be really tacky. It's like glitter that you can put in your hair. I think that's too much. I think it's going to be too much, but I can save that for like pride or whatever. Oh, that's cute. And then I could I can put an earring in as well. Oh, that's lovely. Can you see it, chat? Don't look inside my ears. I haven't cleaned them out today. They're fine. I'm sure they're fine. I'm just a bit obsessive compulsive uh, with trying to clean my ears out. Anyway, they are gorgeous and I am going to have to put them somewhere where I'm not going to risk breaking them because they are so nice. Watch me forget that I bought accessories for my dresses and just wear like normal stuff. Oh, I got this. This is for my sister because she's visiting at the moment. It's Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It's good. It is really good. I feel like I have to apply it quite often. At the moment, I'm using Barry M Translucent Powder, the white or translucent shade because there's also like a yellow one, but it's vegan and it's really good it seems to last for a lot longer oh uh, yeah i got this from tiktok shop this is liliosa basically like a random pick of lingerie i chose pink and you can like go onto their tiktok while they pick them out for you and you get two choices sort of you get a first choice and if you like it, then you keep it. If you don't like it, you get a second choice, but then you don't get to go back to your first choice, which is kind of abrupt, but I guess if everyone was doing it, it'd take loads of time. Very nice. I don't think I can try it on here, but um, well, at least without any clothes on underneath. But, ooh, peonies, is that? Is that how you say it? Or peonies? Look, don't laugh at me. Okay, are they the garter thingies? Leg garter thingies, yes, nice. Oh, that's super cute. That is very cute. So I'll be able to wear that at some point to play games all night. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VIII at the moment, and I really, I love it now, but I hated it at first. But that was exactly how I felt about Final Fantasy VII, which I only played this year for the first time ever, and I fell in love with it. I've put my VODs on my VOD channel, Phoebe on TV VODs, and I've started preparing for my complete Final Fantasy VIII playthrough. I can't wait to finish the story. I've also got back onto Red Dead 2. I played it almost all the way through, but I left the last chapter because I couldn't bring it to go back. Reasons, without spoiling it. I've been playing that this week as well, and I really love it. I've really missed it, and I can't wait to play it again over and over. There are loads of other games that I wanted to play and loads on my backlog, but what can you do, eh? 
Anyway, Final Fantasy VIII at the moment and Red Dead 2 are the two main ones. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is something that can help you with task management, but also it's a cute little ADHD friendly thing that you can use, which also has like in-game stuff and you customise like a room. And that was really nice. I haven't used it for tasks yet. I just thought it was nice and cute and wanted to have a look at it. It's been really good to have as like a starting soon screen at the moment, but I don't know ethically is that okay? I think it's okay because I got the game, but um, yeah, like a lot of people pay artists to create artwork for them that is custom and I do believe in paying people for their art in that sense. So I'm a bit conflicted but I think it's okay, and especially at the moment because I'm a broke bitch. There is one more thing though. There is one more thing. It's too big. It's a package. Of course it's a package. It's from Overclockers, and it is some lighting. I asked them if they could kindly donate to me, and they have, without questions, and I'm so grateful. I'm going to have to do a separate unboxing for this, I think. I need to film it vertically unless you don't mind. Let me show you what I did. I mean, look, first, oh my God. My desk looks insane. That's only because I chucked everything down here. But, um. <laughs> so it's two of these 14 inch Streamify glow lights. They are amazing. Stats on here, you can see. Ultra thin profile, two 500 lum lumens, and then 3K to 6K in the brightness. Four temp modes. I can safely say I am so amazed. I can't get over my ring light blindness from before, like how bad it was. I did not realise that I looked like a washed out ghost and I didn't realise that this is <laughs> so much better. Um, anyways, I did get a couple more things. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm doing a cosplay. I definitely thought that these would be far bigger than what they actually are. And that is going to go around me. And clue is it's an Elden Ring cosplay. Something else. It makes such a mess. Ah, uh, okay. So when we went to Gamescom, we always get a little pass as an exhibitor, but they just print it out on paper. And you're supposed to like have that on your lanyard for the whole week. People lose them, they get ripped. But anyway, I've got some of these so that next year, uh, myself and a few colleagues can use them. That's the end of that. I guess thank you. Thank you for watching my haul and I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs> it wasn't supposed to go all the way around. It never goes all the way around when I want it to.